Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now today's topic of discussion are statues, right? Statues that we can see here. For example, if you go to Gwangamun, there is a big statue of uh, King Sejong, right? And there's other statues of Lee Sung Shin. And if you keep looking at other statues, not only in Korea but in other countries, they are usually of men, right? So now a group of people, they're saying that it's not fair, we should have more statues or sort of celebrate more women, more important women and notable women from history. So they want to build more statues of notable or important or very successful and women. Roam the streets and parks of any major city. Roaming is to just sort of take a tour. Uh, roam the streets of the parks of any major city in America, like New York City. Take a good look around. What do you notice? Wow, there are lots of statues everywhere. Often these historic de uh, depictions, depictions is how they show it, right? Are they standing, are they sitting, lying down, on horses or in other poses, look stoic, very cold and not smiling. Stoic just means very like straight-faced. A common fact among them is that they also tend to be male. They, uh, chances are about 90%, 10 means to be male, right? Of only 394 of the roughly or about 5,193 statues are of important women. So the total number of statues is about 5,000, but only 394 are of women. According to Car Carrie Shane's 2011 Washington Post article, Washington Post is the newspaper, a social activist group named Where Are the Women? This activist group, they try to change the people's ideas about you know, their cause, which is Where Are the Women? They're trying to tell people about this. It is striving or trying hard to change that. They were successful. They, you know, mission completed recently in installing or putting up the statues of Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton in New York Central Park. Uh, these were all famous uh, lawyers and writers. They are pioneers in the area of women's rights. So pioneers means they were the first women to do that. So if you are a pioneer to an island, then you are the first one to go there and you are the first to explore and you don't have a map, you are the map maker, right? Um, uh, there were no statues of important women in the park before this sort of new social activist group. It's important to have more women represented because they also have played an essential or important, a crucial part in America's history. Leaving out their stories or not telling their stories would be a big mistake. So we have to show these stories. We have to show and educate children about these important women. All right, we have three key review questions here. Uh, first one, what do you notice, what do you see after roaming or sort of touring the streets and parks of any major city in America? There are lots of blanks everywhere. So this is the main idea of our sort of article here. It's not the main idea, but it's the main object, right? What object are we talking about? Are we talking about a painting? Are we talking about a model? No, we're talking about these stone or steel structures, or not structures, but figures. And they're called statues. There are lots of statues everywhere. We're, this is the main sort of object of discussion. Uh, B, what is a common fact among them? It is that they also blank to be male. So we're not saying that 100% of them are male, but we're saying 90 to 95 percent of them are male. They have a high chance to be male. They are usually male, right? So all these words usually or high chance to be, uh, we say tend. 
They, it is that they also tend to be male. So 10, we can use it like this. Cats and dogs tend to fight. So 90% of the time, we think that they fight. But sometimes they don't fight, right? It's just that they tend to. They have a high chance to fight. Um, your mom tends to be a better cooker than your father because you know, they just have a higher chance to be better cooks. C. Who are Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Katie Stanton? They are blank in the area of women's rights. So this is important, women's rights. We're talking about the things that women can do. Long time ago, women, they couldn't vote. They couldn't vote for the president. They couldn't really vote, you know, period, right? It was only the boys that can vote, right? So, but these women, they were the first women to sort of say, hey, you know, we want to change this. Uh, it was something called suffrage. But they were the first ones. They were sort of the leaders of this. They were the trailblazers. They were the map makers. And we say they are the pioneers of this area. So pioneers, we can talk about someone that goes to a place for the first time, but we can also say a pioneer is someone that does something new, a new action. So many people think that Steve Jobs was the pioneer of the iPhone. Uh, Bill Gates was the pioneer of Windows and PC computers. All right. Uh, we have three key terms here we're going to review. A, the statues of Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton were in blank Central Park. Um, we're talking about where are they, right? We're talking about a specific uh, state or city in New sorry, in America, like California, New Jersey, a similar sounding one is New York. So uh, Central Park is in Manhattan in New York and it's a very big and very beautiful park in New York. B, there were no statues of blank women in the park before. So we're talking about women like Susan B. Anthony and women like her they were very influential. We needed these women to do their work because if they didn't do that before, then today we wouldn't have, the women wouldn't have the right to vote, right? So these women, we needed them. They're very special. Uh, without them, there would be big problems. So we say it is important. Important, so we can say that doing homework is important when studying, if we don't do homework, it's a big problem, right? So important is something that, you know, we should do, it's special, and it's very notable, right? It's worth mentioning. C, they also have played a blank part in America's history. So in America's history, they're playing a very necessary part. Women voting is something that's very natural. It's something that we really need, right? We need to do this. It's the only way, right? There's no other way. So another way we can say that is essential. Essential is without something that is essential, we would basically die or be you know, in pain or in big trouble. So for example, what is essential to eat uh, for a person? Well, vitamins are essential, meat and protein is essential, fat and oils are essential. We need this. Without these vitamins and things, we would die, right? They're saying without uh, Susan B. Anthony, America's history would just be broken and unhealthy. So to review, New York is one of the 50 states in America. It's in the East Coast. Uh, important is something that we have to do, it's needed as well. And a similar word here is essential. Essential is something that is necessary, 100% necessary or needed. And if we don't have something that is essential, then there's a big problem, right? Such as vitamins and water is essential and food and sleep is essential. All right, so next time you go around, not in New York if you, if you get a chance, but just look around your neighborhood, see if you see any statues. Are these statues of men? What did they do? Are they of women? And what did they do, right? They're all there for a reason. They're all there for us to see it and to really think about who they were. 
All right. So thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.